Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Chevy here coming at you with a YouTube video I know it's a little bit different, but this is something that has been highly requested of me to make and I'm finally doing it I said I was gonna do this uh, a couple months ago when Izanagi's Burden was first deemed the king of DPS for Shadowkeep And I wanted to wait to see if it is still going to be king of DPS for Season of Dawn and uh, you guessed it It definitely is so this video is basically going to cover over a bunch of tips and tricks of things that you can use to fully optimize your Izanagi's Burden build and optimize your DPS to help your team complete victory. All right, I'm going to show you the perks on the, the armor pieces that I use. I'm going to show you the reload canceling. I'm going to go over a couple different reload speed cancellations just to show the difference. And I'm just going to throw a couple other tips in there. Uh, just to cover as much as I can. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible uh, While covering as much information as possible as well uh, So first off is an Aki's burden first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure you get that is an Aki's burden catalyst 20% extra Times four honed edge damage absolutely massive. There's tons of videos out there on YouTube uh, YouTube it and figure out how to get that um, My biggest strap for this when you are getting the catalyst is Shiro Chi tether hunter orpheus rigs your best friend you'll get this done in 10 to 15 minutes all right next is going to be the gear loadout so typically i run sniper rifle ammo finder on my helmet just to try to get as much ammo as i possibly can i have enhanced a sniper rifle loader with light arms loader i like to pair this up with recluse because recluse is dominant as we all know even in shadow of dawn so the enhanced sniper rifle loader, obviously, light arms loader to help with the recluse, the recluse reload speed. Then we have the chest piece, which has the reserves on it. You can stack double reserves. You could do this back in Shadowkeep, and you can still do it in Season of Dawn. This will allow you to get 24 total ammo in the magazine as opposed to 20. Very important here to get that extra times four honed dead shot off. Luna Faction Boots, if you're on a Warlock, biggest thing for this, of course, is going to be the reload increase that you get with the Rift or Well of Radiance. Um, of course, if you're on a Hunter, you can do Bottom Tree, Night Stalker, and do the Times 3 Heart of the Pack. Or if you are on a Titan, you can drop a Rally Barricade to get the same benefits and effects. Uh, and then on the Boots, of course, if you have Void, which Void Lunas do not exist for me. I've been farming. They do not exist, though. Um... You want to rock the special ammo scavenger or if you do in fact have on void luna factions if you're lucky enough to get it sniper rifle scavenger is going to be your next best thing then lastly doesn't really matter but i like to run special finisher on my class item uh you can get this by doing the uh, the adept nightfall the zavala quest pretty simple um so it takes a third of your super energy but whenever you utilize this it will drop at least one pack of special if you're lucky, sometimes you'll get two or three even. So this is really nice to make sure that you always have ammo. Uh, something I like to do is if I'm doing a, uh, a boss TPS, such as the Consecrated Mind, I like to do a special finisher on one of the goblins to have a brick laying on the ground so that when I start shooting, I can pick that up and I can try to fully optimize my DPS by picking up a brick mid damage phase since there's plenty of time to do that. All right. So that's pretty simple there. So first we need to figure out how do you even reload cancel? All right, I tried to Google this, I tried to YouTube it, and I couldn't really find any guides on it. All right, you can go talk to streamers, you can ask them, and they'll give you a quick rundown of it. Uh, but I figured, you know what, it's time to make the video. Um, sick of getting asked it, so why not just uh, make this video here? So it's very simple, you can do this on console, or you can do this on PC. You zoom in, you shoot, as soon as the bullet gets chambered, you, you sprint forward and you cancel the animation. It is very important to note here that you are only canceling the animation. This does not effectively allow you to shoot faster. So this will not allow your gun to uh, override the reload animation, right? If I don't do that, you can see I still have to do it, right? The reason we sprint cancel is so you can actually ADS and hit your target as soon as possible. You can see right here I'm trying to ADS and it's not really hitting the target, right? I'm trying to shoot that flag there. It's not doing very good. So you reload cancel so you can actually aim at your target and you can effectively hit your target as quickly and as early as possible. 
All right, to show you a difference in hand sniper rifle loader versus the no rifle loader, it is a pretty massive difference. It is noticeably slower. So at the very least, you want at least a rifle loader or if you have it enhanced rifle loader. The enhanced rifle loader will give you a 1.5 reload speed increase, whereas the normal rifle loader is only a one times reload increase speed. So it doubles it essentially. Okay, so now we're gonna go a step further here. I'm gonna keep on the no loader gauntlets and I'm gonna drop the rift that allows you to increase the, the weapon reload speed. Very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that down and I'm gonna go ahead and just do my sprint cancel. You can see this is substantially faster. And again, you can do this times three heart of the pack, bottom tree, night stalker. You can do this rally barricade as well. So it's noticeably faster compared to having no rift. So if you can drop that down, that's gonna help your reload speed substantially. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the enhanced sniper rifle loader. Um, I would not recommend using this until you are fully uh, optimized on your reload canceling because it is very quick. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop my well down so that we can get a little bit more use out of the Luna factions. And then we're gonna go ahead and reload cancel away. As you can see, you get very little time to aim when you are shooting. And this right here is the optimal build and the optimal setup on how to effectively DPS and top those charts when you are with your team trying to kill a raid boss or a strike boss or anything else. Again, is an Aggie's Burden. Enhanced sniper rifle loader. And then something to fully optimize and maximize your reload speed. The biggest question that I get all the time is, Chevy, why when I reload cancel, is there a pause after I reload? I don't get it. That is the biggest question. And my answer to that is, your reload speed is not capped. Very simple. Very, very simple. You drop a Luna Faction Rift, your reload speed is now capped. You literally just sprint forward to cancel the animation and you ADS and you shoot again. I would highly recommend getting efficient at this because this will help you and your team quite a bit. Just drop into the tribute hall, stand right next to the special brick and sit here for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long you want to practice it. This will substantially help you and your team out when it comes to the damage phase. If you have any questions, feel free to drop the questions in the chat. In the comments. This is YouTube, I forgot. Or hop in my stream over at twitch.tv slash Chevy and drop the question in chat. And I will do my best to answer the questions for you. And that will complete my guide on the Izanagi's Burden reload cancel explanation and how to fully optimize or Izanagi's Burden Loadout. Thank you for watching, gamers. Catch you next time.